Welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 2, part 3. Right in the, in the episode, in the part before this one, uh, we went to two whales where Chloe, Chloe's mom worked. And we had breakfast and we showed Chloe our powers. And right now we just came here to test the powers out and Chloe almost died again and now we're about to leave I think or no oh it's a photo okay just talk to Chloe now okay looks like you're ready to lock and load I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh-oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Uh oh Let me see. Uh oh no, no, Where no, did no, you no, get no. that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step hey. back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Uh-oh. Please step back. Why? You're kidding. Why Put that down. did you do that? Well, uh... Oh, killing him. I mean, we can. We can just redo that, right? So we'll just see what happens if I shoot him. That is hilarious. <sighs> oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. Oh, no. Oh uh, yeah, let's just rewind that. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. So they only had like four bullets? You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. That At least guy Frank looks is dangerous. gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just um. wants his money. Um, Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more yeah. dangerous to Chloe That's what and me. I thought. Let's just... Nope. Why, why, why faster? Yeah, okay. Uh... Let's just go. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bob? Uh-oh. Okay. Don't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're what? more like Abbott and Costello. Oh, no. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Oh, my God. Seriously? You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. 
My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker right now. <sighs> Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. Yep. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Okay, cool. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Yeah. But at least he won't be after Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. Them both. We both need... Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better fold. Okay. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad. Listen, my Especially fault. for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Uh, freaked out. <laughs> I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he runs. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Uh... Mm. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. <laughs> I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. There's something here. 
asshole. No. I can't even move it an inch. Let's hear. Come on, okay. Guys. Awesome. It's not locked. Hurry. Uh. Um. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Tools. Please, tool. Get me out of here. Okay. Uh. Here's a house. Like little thing. Okay. Are we open? Shit, I can't budget at no. all. No. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. The train's coming! Yes. Max, I can definitely use this bad boy. Um is it coming? Max, me... Wait, I just gonna just gonna rewind a lot. Max. Come on, rewind a lot. Just in case. Okay, can we open it? Oh, I mean. <gasps> okay, okay. Please, get me out of here. Score. Uh, tools, tools, tools. No. Yes. Take. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. That's it. Do we need anything else? Uh, um, okay, let's just go. Uh oh, 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 no, 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 where is he? Oh my god. Yeah, go back, go back. Okay, uh, go back, go back, go back, open. Um, but which wire to cut? Um, red? Now that's the right cable. Yay! Wow! Yes! I did it! <gasps> you okay? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Yeah. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. <laughs> my powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Aww. That's so nice. Back to school. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing <laughs> exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Um. Doubt it. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? <laughs> Five years ago, asswife. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? <laughs> we have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Bye, Chloe. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Some wandering. Let's see. 
So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. That's the guy that cheated on Dana? Yeah. Let's see. Where is the class? That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Is this the end of the world party? Oh, that's the date. 10, 10, 13. 10, 10, 13? Oh, that's why they were talking about Halloween. They're in October. Right. I think the dates are on her, um, on her diary. Let's talk to, what's her name? Hey, Courtney. Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. That's... Okay. Okay, let's talk again. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No f Really? Uh dress code. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. That's simple. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. She's not mean or evil. That's just Victoria. <laughs> Max, can we talk? No. I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Um, should I tell on Chloe? Um, I don't know. I guess the mom kind of knew that it was Max's, so. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate bad, uh, yeah. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. Responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Let's not talk again. What? Sit down and science bra. <laughs> How is the science no longer see you soon? Kate. Please don't mention Ms. Humber Joe around here. Thanks for talking this morning. Aw. Chloe? <sighs> That's it? Yes. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. In the lab? I had to score some weed from Nathan. But Brooke can help him. I don't. I just want them to be together. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. This can't be that hard. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. 
You already planted a GPS on me? <laughs> I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Can you ask her for help? No, I'll just... I'm sorry, Warren. Chemistry is not my thing. Uh, 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 uh. It's all over, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. What? What did you do? You don't understand mine. What did you do? Professor? Like, Mr. Jefferson. Just okay. leave me alone. Hey. K K K K. Wait. Please, leave me alone. Ah, please. What do you want from me? But it's me, Max. Uh. What did? What did you do, Mr. Jefferson? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Mm, never mind. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You thought I even gonna talk to, talk to her about what just happened? And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. <sighs> there. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. And you just made what if her Kate cry. This on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Are you serious? She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you Are you to her? serious? Uh, should I tell no? I'll just tell this. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. What? You care to share? <sighs> no. I'm not telling you anything. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, yeah. should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I just told him. Like, you made her cry, dude. Make Why would you do that again. if you know what's going on? Both. 